Israel is a sun-drenched country with more than 2,000 sunlight hours per year. As a result, it is a prime locale for solar energy production. The government and private business principals recognize this potential and recently signed a $250 million power purchase agreement package that will harvest Israel's sun and link it directly to the country's electric grid. Israel as, as a state is dealing with, uh, with renewable energies for many years and uh, some very interesting technologies were developed in Israel, just, you know, the solar collectors and the uh, loose uh, uh, thermal solar plant in, uh, in California are just two, two, two examples. This is Israel's first renewable energy purchase agreement and investors, including Germany's Siemens with 40% holdings and production control interest in the power company, are overseeing development. This open space is being primed to house more than 18,000 solar panels that will feed into the country's main power grid to help provide 5% of the country's renewable energy needs. The panels were supplied by China's SunTech Power Holdings and they are expected to be up and running by May of this year. The significance of this site is that it is the actual realization, the first actual realization of the strategy, policy, and determination of the government of Israel to become a substantial player or participant within the renewable energy revolution that has taken Europe, North America, and the world by storm. The desert region where this project takes place encompasses similar deals in the works. It has been called the Silicon Valley of solar energy for its prime sunlight exposure and sun energy harnessing capacity. As the success of this historical venture unfolds, Israel could make its mark by becoming the world's first nation to power electric grids with renewable energy. With continued investment and cooperation from countries like China and Germany, planners here believe that by the year 2020, they can power a full 10% of Israel's needs with solar energy. It all starts here on this site this year. Stephanie Fried, CCTV in the Arava Desert.